Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about these little optics, except it's not optics, sorry, these iron sights from Scalar Works. Let's talk about it. Okay, yes, I think I said that wrong. Um, I think I, I tried to say it wrong. I don't know, if that is how you say it, then cool, but I'm gonna call it Scalar Works, or Scalar Works. I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but these are awesome, okay? And first, huge, big, huge shout out, not to them, because they didn't send them to me. You know, that'd be cool, but these are these are expensive little iron sights. But my buddy that my brother and I both affectionately refer to as, and with no form of, of, of disrespect, Mr. Robert California, you know who you are. You're an amazing guy. Um, but I really do appreciate it. He sent these out to me just to look at. Um, I think he said he took them off one of his builds and just didn't have a home for them right now. So he was just wanted me to test them out, use them, and just do a little review about it. So I've had them for quite a little while. So I'm sorry if I've, I've, I've held on to I've held on to them for probably too long um, and extended my uh, extended your hospitality on these things. But I'm trying to say these are awesome and I really appreciate it. Um, but these have done their job very well. Now, what all can you really say? about a set weird trucks pulling up outside anyway um, thankfully I don't have a dog so I think we should be good um, what all can you really say about iron sights right what all really is there out there and I, that that's kind of one of the reasons I've put off doing this whole review because what all can you really say about iron sights right if you want to know all the statistics as far as the weights and everything I'll, pro I'll try to throw them up somewhere um, so you can see but I can tell you, these things don't weigh much anything. They really don't. They're super lightweight. From what I can tell in, in mounting them, I've never had them come loose, right? They even come, from what I can tell, unless he bought this separate and sent it with it, with the little tool, like a legit tool to lock these things down. Like you could chuck this thing up in your drill, which I have a feeling you could over, uh, over tighten things and strip stuff out. But that's cool, right? They didn't send some flimsy little screwdriver. But these things have not come out. They've not come loose. Uh, the adjustments are nice. I like the ingenuity, just the simple little things as far as like even the, the adjustments up front. You don't have to have a tool, right? It's, 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 almost, it's almost opposite of a standard um, AR-15 front sight to where you have to have the tool to sit in and it pushes down a detent. This doesn't really seem like it has a detent. Well, it kind of does, but it's like internal. So you can just, with your fingers, nice, positive clicks I like it a lot I really 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 like that system because it, it's protected enough to where it's not gonna rub up against something it's not so light that you're gonna accidentally actuate it you're not gonna accidentally move your zero but it's nice positive clicks Right? I really like that. Even that in and of itself is like, why didn't anybody else think about that? Maybe they did. I think Magpul has some deal, has like a big old wheel on there. But anyway, that that worked very well, very, very well. Um, kind of the same concept back here in the rear sight. If you don't have to have a tool, you can use your fingers and you can have clicks. Well, kind of a little mushy. Yeah, they're a little mushy um, as far as like not having solid clicks like you could hear this guy, but you definitely feel it. And it's not mushy to where you're like, you're, you're sliding right past it. No, it clicks right into place, but it, it's not as audible as the front sight. Um, but just like your regular rear sights, your regular Air 15 rear sights, you have, you know, the small aperture, the small, I said that backwards, the large aperture and the small aperture for depending on what you want to do, if it's night vision or if it's nighttime or low light right if if you're trying to be really precise long distance short range whatever 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 field you want to say that they're used for it has those options right there and as like some cheap sites that i have used before 
you can switch all day between the two apertures and you're not going to be moving your zero because I have had some optics, some rear sights, granted they were cheap stuff so I didn't have high expectations for them, but you would do that and you would be, you basically be, be you'd be adjusting your sight, you're adjusting your windage, right? It, it would screw itself all the way over to one side and like, well, I hope you, <laughs> hope you knew where it was supposed to be because it was going to be messed up. These guys don't do that. Um, as far as like, what do I think about them overall? I think they're fantastic and amazing. Um, I really do. I, I my, my, my only major con with these is their price. Knowing that these things sit around the $250 mark, that to me is just a little bit pricey. For what they are, like I, I get it, they're super well machined out, right? These things, there's a lot of, of development that goes into this. This is not just a standard like just blocky stuff. No, these are cut out to 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 take away the weight. I'm sure there's a bunch of science and stuff that went into these things to 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 get the dimensions right, right, and the structural integrity of these things right. I didn't beat them up, right? I didn't try to ram them up against things and scratch them up because they're not mine. I'm not gonna do that um, to your to your sights and stuff. So you know, I didn't go that far as far as trying to bust them up. But these did make it through the Warrior Poet uh, pistol. Well, you didn't use them in the pistol class, but rifle one and two. They worked great. They worked fine, right? So as far as reliability, they're boringly reliable. That's why there's hardly anything really bad to say about it. That's why this is like, I'm still talking, and you're like, well, why are you still talking? Well, because I feel like there's something else that should be said, but when something like this is so boringly reliable, that kind of speaks volumes, all right? I hope that really makes sense. I hope that does. If these things were more like 150 bucks, that'd be a lot more palatable for me. Um... But for now, I'm going to be sending these back um, to you, Mr. Robert, and uh, and you can put them on your gun or do whatever you want to do with them. I just can't bring myself right now, because there's a bunch of other stuff going on, but right now to get these sights. Um, I'll probably be getting something similar in at some point uh, before too long, and at some point I would like to get something of this quality. Like This is a higher echelon quality in my opinion. From my experience... Not speaking of everybody else's out there, but from my experience, these are a higher echelon of of, of 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 product, right? They really, really are pretty cool. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions about these, please let me know. Um, by the time you ask them, if it's something new that I haven't tested out or tried, well, I probably won't have these anymore because very shortly after this video, I'm going to be sending these things back. Um, but... Like I said, they're boringly reliable. Like I don't know what else you could, what else, what other questions you could have about them. But if you do have questions about them, please do let me know, and I will do my best to either answer or find out the answer for y'all. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Hope I didn't ramble on too long. Sorry if I did. Squirrels, rabbits, man, they get me, dudes. All right. Y'all be good to be safe, and hopefully we'll catch y'all in the next video.